six years old. Wow. They have fabric over the top of them because underneath is wicker. And after 96 years, wicker begins to deteriorate. So these are the original seats built into this car in 1926. The floor in the second car is made of concrete, which is very common in train cars. It keeps the weight down, helps to keep the train on the track. This floor was made by our volunteers to go through the seats of the train. There is a third car back. You'll see a silver door. That is the magic car. It has something that you probably will want to see this afternoon. It is the bathrooms. So you can enter that coach by pushing down on the handle and pushing forward on the door. The ladies' bathroom is on the curb just as you go into the car. Gentlemen, your bathroom is all the way to the back of that car on the left-hand side. Now, gentlemen, we know that it'd be very tempting for you to open up the back door of the train and step out, but we ask you not to do that. You might fall off the train. We might accidentally run over you. It would be a big mess, and we do not want to do that this afternoon. So it's tempting as it is, please do not open the back door and try to go out the back of the train. While you are on the train today, if you need some refreshments, we have two of our volunteers up in the front here. They have cold soda, chips, and stuff. So if you need some the stuff, they might have it up there. Feel free to go and visit them at any time during your train ride. During our train ride, we will be stopping in our Mountain Junction Village, but that will be on the return trip. It is our western village, and there we will have ice cold watermelon waiting for you to enjoy. Also, we'll have the campfire going in case you're not warm enough. You can cozy up to the fire, roast the marshmallows, and make some more if you wish to do that. The saloon will be open, so you may stop in and get a cold glass of saffron if you would like to do that That's during your stop in the village. We'll be there about 15 or 20 minutes, so you'll have plenty of time to walk around and learn about our village. The Iron Mountain is a very historic railway. It was started in 1852 by the order of the President of the United States who ordered the train line to be built to help transport iron ore to the southern states. The Iron Mountain became famous in 1874 because it was the first train to be robbed in Missouri. It was robbed by a gang of outlaws led by none other than Jesse James. It happened on a cold winter's day, January 31st, 1874. Jesse and his brother Frank, their cousins and younger boys, and another outlaw that we believe was Arthur McCoy, came to Gad's Hill early in the day. They had actually ridden up from Arkansas where they had robbed a bank the week before. The snow in that day, tracks were hard to follow, but they decided when they got to the Missouri border that they would just follow the railroad tracks of the Iron Mountain. On up to Gad's Hill. So the outpost came in. Pocket watch. You see, the outlaws love gold watches. 
They had no use for silver because silver was a little value at that time. Jesse said to Mr. Alfred, I'll take that gold pocket watch, please. Mr. Alfred gave him that watch immediately. He did not want to be shot. Jesse then looked at these men with him, his brother Frank, the younger boys, and he said, I want you to check the hands of every passenger on this train. If they have rough, calloused hands, it means they are farmers or hard workers. Don't shake them, But if they have smooth hands, if they have smooth hands, it means they are bankers, politicians, men of wealth. I want you to take all the money they have. Checking their hands, accessing their hands. That's no hand that took all the money. There was a minister on board, Reverend Haggerty. Frank James came up to him and he said, Sir, I'd like to see your hand. Reverend Haggerty held out his hand. Frank said, I'm seeing that smooth hand. But from your clothing, you don't look like a man of wealth. What is your occupation, sir? Reverend Haggerty said, I'm a minister. I'm headed for Arkansas Civil Congregation there. Frank said, well, then I won't take your money, sir. It looks like you need what little that you have. So the outlaws went among the other pastors, took all the money they could find. Reverend Haggerty said to Frank, can I pray for you? Frank said, no, no, we don't have time for that today. We're in a hurry. But tonight, tonight you pray for us. Pray for us that we'll reach the good country that is our home. And that we'll get safe there. So when the outlaws finished robbing all the pastors, they got off the train, began to count their money. Found they had $12,000. Now that's a lot of money in 1874. Jesse rode up to the conductor, Mr. Alford. Jesse reached in his pocket and pulled out that gold watch. He tossed it back to Mr. Alford. He said, I think you need this more than I need it. He also gave Mr. Alford a written news story. You see, Jesse loved to be famous. He loved to be in the news. But he did not trust the newspapers to get the story right. That sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? So Jesse wrote his own news story, and all you had to do was fill in the amount of money at the bottom. So quickly, Jesse took the list $12,000 at the bottom of the story. Handed it to Mr. Alfred, and he said, I want you to promise me that this will get on the telegraph at your very next stop, which would have been Piedmont, Missouri. Mr. Alfred assured him that indeed would happen. The outlaws left the robbery, knowing they were very lucky. They headed west to their home. Quickly, a posse of 50 men formed to chase the outlaws. They set off looking for them the very next morning, but because it had snowed all night, they had very difficult times trying to follow their tracks. By the end of the day, the posse had given up and gone back to Scotland. So Jesse and the outlaws got away scot free with that robbery. Jesse became known as the Robin Hood of the West. Because a lot of the money that the outlaws took, they gave to the poor farmers who were starving to death after the Civil War. They were known to stop at the homes where women had been widowed by the war, ask for a bite to eat. They were able to get some food. They always left a gold coin under every plate at the table. So the interesting thing is, once those outlaws first robbed this train in 1874, they had a habit of showing up to rob the passengers again. So we wouldn't be surprised if today Jesse and those outlaws showed up to rob all of you. I hope you brought some money. But just in case you didn't, 
bring up one of our volunteers, walk around and give you a little money that you can pass out to those outlaws in the event that they decide to rob us today. There is one little issue, ladies. We've had some problem with this. We ask that you please do not shove the money down your shirt and ask them to come and get it. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. has been 
See what we got here at one of our train stops, or actually the only train stop. Looks like this might have been because they're trying to recreate the the OK Corral kind of thing, where Jesse and his gang robbed the the train or the train at. Which we just had our train robbery, so. We, I was on the 1345. Jesse James was gonna go for taking some. This is cool.
train a-comin', it's rollin' around the bend And I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when I'm stuck in Folsom Prison And time keeps dragging on But that train keeps rollin' On down to San Anton When I was just a baby My mama told me, son Always be a good boy Don't ever play with guns But I shot a man in Reno Just to watch him die When I hear that whistle blowing I hang my head and cry But there's rich folks eating in a fancy dining car They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars Well, I know I had it coming I know I can't be free But those people keep a moving And that's what tortures me Down the line, far from Folsom Prison, that's where I want to stay. And I'd let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away. Summer getting warmer, tidal wave come across the Mexican border. Wide back gallon is cheaper by the barrel, just don't get busted singing Christmas carols. That's us, that's right, gotta love this American ride. Both ends of the earth so burning, funny how the world keeps turning. No more, no hand, I love this American ride. Gets her rocks off, watching Desperate Housewife. Daddy works his can off, paying for the food. Like kids on the YouTube, learning how to be cool. Living in a cruel world, pays to be a mean girl. That's us, that's right. Gotta love this American ride. Both ends of the ocean burning. Funny how the world keeps turning. The mall, no hands. I love this American Miss America stand She gained five pounds and lost the crown Quick fix plastic surgical antidotes Got herself a record deal Can't even sing a note Plasma getting bigger Jesus getting smaller Spill a cup of coffee Make a million dollars Cousins got a thug with an aerosol can If the shoe don't fit It's gonna hit the shame That's us That's right Gotta love this American ride Both ends of the ocean burning Funny how the world keeps turning I go, I damn I love this American ride Gotta love this American ride Oh yeah Now 
getting colder, summer getting warmer. Tidal we've come across the Mexican border. Wine by gallon is cheaper by the barrel. Just don't get busted singing Christmas carols. That's us, that's right. Gotta love this American ride. Both ends of the ozone burning. Funny how the world keeps turning. Gets her rocks off, watching Desperate Housewife. Daddy works his can off, paying for the good life. Kids on the YouTube learning how to be cool. Living in a cruel world pays to be a mean girl. That's us, that's right. Gotta love this American ride. Both ends of the ocean burning. Funny how the world keeps turning. The all, no hands. I love this American Sing a note. Plasma getting bigger, Jesus getting smaller. Spill a cup of coffee, make a million dollars. Customs got a thug with an aerosol can. If the shoe don't fit, it's gonna hit the shame. That's us, that's right. Gotta love this American ride. Both ends of the ozone burning. Funny how the world keeps turning. Cell phone rings, hurricane force of silence. 